On today's episode of Watch JR Go, I've got some bad news about the new house. Let's go. What is going on guys? I am Watch JR Go, and today we are here in the construction zone that is the new house, obviously. And yesterday we made some big improvements. We got our giant flexible conduit from the attic all the way down to the basement so I can start pulling in wires, hooking up cameras, getting security going on, all the low voltage stuff. And then, like I said, it was time to replace the lights. So today's to-do list was replace the lights. I walked in, turned on the lights, and what do you know? There's water on the floor. That is not good. So unfortunately, I was only coming over here to take a look at my light situation, decide what I was gonna do there, which is put some four footers in, even though I just realized with the drains, there's basically no place to get a four footer in there. What a mess. All the plumbing, everything about this place. It's just, it's just built the old way. It's a mess, no regard for anything. But yesterday we stepped on this drain hose a lot. In general, just kept stepping on things. And today when I walked in, there was some water right there and right there. So luckily it's not a big leak, but it is a slow leak. And I think all of that came about because yesterday I turned on the tub faucet in the master bedroom just to see what was going on. It had a really slow drip. Today, we're turning the water off and maybe we'll just cut those lines going into that thing. Luckily, there's a ball valve, I can shut it off. But if we cut them, we're just gonna cap them and leave the hot water out of the equation for now, shut off the gas to it, and we'll be home free. Now, when I bought this place, in fact, even after the auction was over, there was a water heater sitting here, and I think somebody stole that water heater because it did not have a bid tag on it. So they just saw a new water heater and were like, let's get that out of here. Well, that water heater was definitely supposed to go into the house, and now I gotta go buy one. So we're gonna buy a new water heater, bigger probably. That one's like a 30. We might as well go up to a 40 or a 50, get some real uh, tank action in here, and then we'll have all of this sorted out. Today, I mean, we're really probably just gonna fix the lights. It'd be cool if I could see while I was working, but let's start by shutting off the water. This appears to be the only place you need to shut off the hot water. Yeah, that's definitely hot water. And I hate this CPVC. It's, it's hideous. I don't think it's a real plumbing standard. I just, I don't agree with it existing. At least they put in a ball valve. That ball valve is hard to turn and generally junk, so I can't wait to get that out of here. My PEX A tools, unfortunately, are up at the lake house, but I'm gonna bring it back and I'm just gonna start cutting and replacing sections, especially to the water heater of that PEX A. <laughs> There's a valve here that comes down to nothing. This used to be the water heater, I bet. I bet this was the water heater, because if you take a look, they piggybacked off some other CPVC. I bet this was it. It came down and then it Oh yeah, that's house water in right there. That's main water. If we follow that one over, the same pipe right there comes straight down, boom. That is the main water for the house. Now I'm even more sure I'm gonna cut all that out and uh, clean it up. That should be a straight run. It's got like 15 T's and two elbows going just to the water heater. <laughs> that should be one, guys. We're gonna make all this nice. We'll get all this hackiness out of here. Uh, let's head to Lowe's to buy what we can right now, which is light fixtures and make this room usable. The gas and the water to the water heater are turned off. Let's get out of here. Time to go buy some stuff. We can walk in the brand new shop. I shouldn't be walking in here yet, but I just couldn't resist. It's so nice. Guys, I am in love. Spray foam woes or not, this is gonna be a cool place to work. One week from now, we can move in. Let's go. Kind of a cool update for you guys. The concrete guys just left, gave me a quote, and now, well, two weeks from now, they are starting on our little driveway project here. That way we don't have water standing in front of the shop here. So this is coming out about 10 foot, and there's really a lot going on here, but we're gonna have an apron in front of the shop. It'll connect over to the door. It's all gonna work out really well. So I am excited about that. There's nothing I can do about timelines, guys. This stuff needs to happen faster for YouTube, but real life simply doesn't work like that. So I'm scheduling this stuff as tightly as I can. Seven days till I can walk on the floor. Eight days till the spray foam gets fixed. 14 days till the concrete goes in. We're gonna get there, I promise. Now, let's get inside and hang up some new lights. All right, guys, I have a feeling this isn't gonna work out as planned and I'm gonna have to go get additional Romex. I've got plenty of it, it's just not here. Uh, I'm guessing the wires are gonna be six inches short, but 
Let's uh, shut this thing down. Here we go, we got some LEDs from the Milwaukee. We got a little bit of light from the Milwaukee there. You know, I always talk about how my house, that's right down the road from this, is 100% LED, but it's actually not. There's a fixture in my kitchen. Look at this guy, ghosting out of nowhere. Uh, and it has four of these uh, T8s or whatever, and it's literally 20 year old bulbs and they've never burned out. It's the only fixture left. Look over by the water heater. There's, there's water on the ground. Is it another water heater? <laughs> it was in fact not another water heater. It was a leak. Hopefully you guys can see. I know this camera doesn't like low light. We're almost done. Now we'll just turn the little butterfly clips. One, two, it's gonna fall on my head. You really an O2 on that water heater? 21 years old, that's pretty good life. Ooh, that is pretty good life. All right, well. It's probably like really dirty and nasty, I'm sure. I don't feel bad about replacing it then. Yeah, but all these, these are all wrong. Oh, we're gonna trash all that. We'll uh, run some PEX A and yeah, you can more, see, I think that, PEX -A. you see that, that U right there? I'm pretty sure that was the old water heater. This? No, the one right beside you. That was the old water heater hookup. Oh, probably, yeah. They, you could get rid of about 10 foot of pipe. <laughs> it could all be cut out. Look at this, guys. The hot wire between the switches is just shared, stripped in the middle, and then coiled around and then taped on. This is a complete start over. I'm just gonna gut all this, uh, rip this box off the wall, put one in that's a sheetrock depth, just in case. It'll probably never get sheetrocked. But uh, I'll bring in some new wire. We're gonna delete that wire there, delete this switch, put in a single box, and. Uh, this will be better, and all the lights will be connected together. Right now, unfortunately, if you take a look over here, that switch, this one turned on the other lights in the room. So we're gonna get rid of that, because it makes no sense, and just have one switch turn on all the lights. Also, just finished replacing this switch. Yes, I want them to not match, because I hate ivory and all the ivory's coming out. So now we can finally use the kitchen light. That switch was completely broken before. Well, after a weekend of working at the abandoned mini resort, we are back at the new house and we are ripping this place apart as fast as we can. Now, we got that closet, the second closet in the master bedroom, shredded just a few minutes ago, so I'm gonna go show you guys that right now. And downstairs, we're ripping all the carpet, all the trim, all the chair rail. We are taking everything out of this house. In fact, it's unfortunately much louder already. I can't wait to put carpet back in. All right, so over here, obviously, no more carpet in this bathroom. Sorry about, there you go. It takes a second for the camera to get back to living life. Uh, we got a lot of this ripped out. We got that ripped down, but we actually don't have a claw hammer here. It's like the one thing I don't have, so I couldn't get everything off the walls. This is one of the most insane things I've ever seen. The dryer vent ran through the floor of the closet. Hopefully we can move that. Uh, we might have to take this wall out and put it in there. It's gotta go somewhere. Uh, or we'll, we'll case that in when we make this a uh, bigger bathroom. All right, back into the master bedroom. Let's take a look over here. She's 100% cleaned up. I'm still leaving the tax strips, even though I should probably pull them. I don't know what carpet guys do when they install. Um, I just expect that I might reuse them. I probably won't. Coming down here in the basement, we have been just absolutely ripping it apart. We just cut all this carpet and started pulling. So making some good progress there. Jacob is down here ripping things apart as well. This chair rail is hilarious. That's why I was like, we have to get the camera because it's not glued on. It just has four brad nails in each piece. And all you have to do is pull out and throw it in a pile. Of course, all the trim down here is screwed in with four inch long Phillips screws. It doesn't make any sense. And if you think I'm kidding, those are the screws. They're absolute monsters. And uh, <laughs> I love how easy it comes off. This is not how you build a house, but I do love how quick you unbuild this house. Uh, we're gonna move the organ as soon as we cut the carpet out of that closet, slide the organ on in there, and then rip all of this chair rail apart. Um, even the top trim is screwed on with three and four screws. So, we'll have it apart in just a minute. And Eric and I have a plan to make this basement awesome. You finally found one that wouldn't just pop off. No. <laughs> There's not enough uh, bow in the wood and all the others are bowed out from the wall. There you go. <laughs> I was just kind of hunting all over to find a place to grab it. Man, what a mess. I 
I kind of want to see what's back here. Oh. What was your plot here? They drywalled it and then tried to box it in and it looks really bad. guys we've been down here ripping away I've been cutting Jacob's been hauling out we're making some good progress here but look what Jacob found while I was outside a second ago underneath the pad we had this cool old wood look linoleum honestly you know I, I, we all hate linoleum it's like it's basically evil at this point but that looks really cool that is super period correct for this house 1976 Old linoleum ties right in. Well, we get to rip all this out. Luckily, they didn't glue this so far. They might have, they might have. Uh, but over here, they glued uh, all the pad in. So we were in here for quite a while trying to rip this out. And we didn't even get most of it because it's glued down so well, unfortunately. So Eric pulled up just a minute ago to go on a bike ride and he happened to have his SDS Max with our tile or everything remover. We pretty much use this to take anything out. So we're gonna try to get some of that off with that. Wrong tool, I know. I just need a hand scraper, but power might get it done. And he brought a hammer with a claw on it because I just keep ball peen hammers because I work on cars. Well guys, it is much louder in here as you can hear every time we take some carpet out, things get louder and more echoey and I can't wait to put some carpet back in. These rooms will probably get carpet. Uh, the old linoleum though, it didn't continue on for very long. Although I think we just figured out there really must have been a wet part here. I don't know where the water came in, but that's a drain that definitely looks like it went to a wet bar. And this, you know, this design here lends a lot of credence to that. Um, again, where the water came from, maybe it comes out of there. I don't really know, but water was here somewhere. Just like there was water going through here. We've got an access hole uh, out to the shop. I can see the drain to the shop. It's right here. I just can't see where the water is. So we're going to try to figure all of that out, but that old linoleum looks pretty cool. It's old and torn up. It's going to take a lot of work to get it all out of here. So we are calling it. It's been a night. We got all the carpet out of the basement, all the carpet out of the house completely this time. So a big improvement and uh, it's time to go eat and it's time to, uh, well, next time we're going to finish up all those lights. We just can't keep going today. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop watchjrgo.com for cool shirts, not like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you next time. I finally found the switch to that light in this fan, and it all works. Pretty cool, because we needed the airflow. It was hot, hot. Jacob just noticed something cool. Also, I, I did rip the phone down. I don't know if I mentioned it, it's not a real rotary phone, guys. This is one of those fake digital ones where you just push the buttons. Um, so it might look cool, but it's not actually cool. Jacob noticed something that is actually cool. This is a Custom Deluxe Frigidaire GM. So obviously GM ovens have been gone for a long time, but this old double oven, pretty sweet. Custom, we got the Custom Deluxe and we got the Custom Cab. All right, we're out of here. Guys, this thing hit one, two, three, four, five, six miles yesterday, right? Uh, even seven, I, th I don't know. I, I just saw an epic mileage yesterday and the check engine light just came on. It's a 22 with 12,000 miles. I was sure I wouldn't see the first check engine light on this one until like 50,000 miles. What's going on, Ford? What's going on?